Oh, chat's not working. That's fun. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to a new live stream. Today, we're going to be playing some Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links. It's been a little while since I played Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links on stream. Unless you count the pack opening, which I kind of forgot I did a pack opening. But nonetheless, I can't wait for the stream to lag a bunch because I've been having so many streaming issues um, as of late. And I can't wait to deal with that again. But for everybody in the stream, what's up, everybody? How are you guys doing? Let me go see if I can uh, fix chat with uh, Streamlabs because Streamlabs chat is just not working, which is not cool. Not cool at all. Uh, but yeah, what's up, guys? Welcome to today's stream. Uh, what we're going to do, we're just going to do some auto-dueling. I'm going to finally take the time to play in the Ubel event, because I'm not going to lie, I have not touched the Ubel event, like, whatsoever. Like, not at all. Like, it would really be like that. So, uh, that's fun. That's fun right there. And yeah, we're just going to go see how things go. Anyways, looks like chat is just not working properly. Is it working on Duel Links? No, it's not working on Duel Links either. Uh, Streamlabs chat. I know my alerts are working. I know that, but, uh, this is not working too well, so that's not fun. It is time. Come on, chat. I just want chat to work, so it's, like, so empty without chat. There we go. Fixed it. <laughs> Fixed it. Gotta use the, uh, good old trick in the book to fix that. So there we go. We got that done and over with. Um, I don't know if I want to exit out of this. We'll keep this open for now. I'm just watching it at that. Okay. That should be okay. And let's go load up Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links and then get some audio um, in the background and all that fun stuff right there. Uh, but yeah, what is up, everybody? How is everybody doing? Um, in about 30 minutes, though, I will take a pause from the stream because uh, currently my parents are having a night out and I gotta put my, or I gotta get help my siblings go to bed. So in about 30 minutes in the stream, I'll have to take a pause. I'll probably play some music for you guys and uh, we'll just go from there. But yeah, let's just get into today's Yu Gi Oh! Duel Links live stream and all that good stuff right there. Um, Sweet. So what's up, everybody? Let me put that right there sick on-screen emotes what do you mean sick on-screen emotes oh wait i didn't realize that yeah like odd eyes's uh emoji went through but sadly the uh youtube stuff doesn't streamlabs is weird man and on streamlabs is weird it would have been cool though if the youtube emotes worked maybe i'll have to look into seeing if uh, we can get the youtube emotes to uh, work at some point but anyways we at the do -do 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 dual links let me go get some ani on the background though there we go. I was about to say, doing links pop up. Anyways, uh, Mailstorm, when you were the first one in the stream, how you doing, my guy? What's up? A Dark Rebellion, a Jay's Blaze, Outburst, Diego, uh, Zernilla, Ryan Lee, um, Ian, welcome to the stream. How you doing? What's up, Nathaniel? What's up, Odd Eyes? What's up, Austin Becker? YouTube member? What's up, my guy? Uh, Dream World, welcome to the stream. How you doing? Uh, what is up, uh, Poe Life? I don't know if I pronounced your name right, but there you go. I love that I come in guns blazing while everyone is chill AF. Yes. What's up, Nightlife Game? Welcome to the stream. How you doing? Um, what is up, Bless? YouTube member. How you doing, my guy? What is up, uh, Blight? Welcome to the stream. How you doing? What's up, uh, Kumar? Welcome to the stream. What's up, uh, Pete's Plant 67? GameStop? What do you mean, GameStop? What's up, Twisted Wolf? What's up? What's up? What's up? Cod, Cod, Cod. What do you mean, Call of Duty? Uh, I, I yeah, I've had a haircut for a little bit now, but, uh, yeah, I, I got one like a week ago. Walk well, further be the next voice for Sarah and Duel Links. Konami employee leaked info. I am not going to be a voice actor anytime soon. I think if I practice enough, I could be a voice actor, but the key to, like, voice acting is honestly to, one, be able to manipulate your voice, but also keep it consistent when you're ma manipulating your voices. And I have a hard time uh, keeping my voice consistent as it is. Um, so, it is what it is right there. Still, being a voice actor would be neat, I guess you could say. What's up, Ben? What is up, uh, Mirando? What's up, Natsu, Tyler, uh, Rel? Welcome to the stream. How you doing? What's up, Clearwing? What's up, Blue? Keep getting blessed with the gate drops, even though I wasn't farming. Dude, that's nice, my guy. You're doing good. That's good to hear. Dude, there's been a lot of people rocking Magician Girls. It's because, like, if you don't have any, like, card effects to target the Magician Girls, you're going to have a hard time getting rid of the deck. Ugh. <clears throat> Yeah, I'm also looking for the uh, looking forward to the unknown duels coming into Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links. It'll be pretty cool. <clears throat> I wonder if we should like actually. Let me take over. And and we also wanna yeah, let's go pitch. Uh, let's go pitch one to use. Be gone, thoughts. 
Actually, let's get rid of back row because it's a Vega Bone. And then I also realized that we should go for a Synchro Summon. So that we can use our Vega Bones effect a second time. Um, I wonder if I should get rid of the other back row. I mean, I probably could. A. So I want to get this juicy XP from the Vagabond, so we gotta take over, you know what I'm saying? Blue eyes? Ooh, okay, yeah, we just got that dub, you know what it is. Uh, how do you get Super Polymerization? Uh, once Jane Yubel and Yubel comes into the Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links gate, um, then there'll be an unlock mission to unlock uh, Super Polymerization. Because Super Polymerization was not an event exclusive skill that's not in this current event, so you're gonna have to wait till the end of November to be able to unlock the new, uh... New one right there. Since Stinky Bless is in the stream, I'll give you a Vagabond Bless. Here you go. Rocking that nice Carly profile picture. I'd love to rock a Misty profile picture, but we'll see if that happens. Misty, please become unlockable. Let's go check this down here. Yeah, so emergency call and ultimate fusion. Yeah, so once uh, Jane Yubel comes into you, uh, the gate in late November, you can unlock the skill ultimate fusion. And once they come out, uh, go to your missions. And then in your missions, go to special and scroll down. And it'll tell you how to unlock them. Because as you can see, I got to unlock a lot of other skills myself. But that's how these event exclusive skills work. Hey, what's up, RDX? How you doing, my guy? Yo, we have... Look at that many. We got 663 gems. Watch. Let's see if the devil Konami is here. Uh-oh. 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 One gem. Okay, so we still got two more gems to go. Is the devils of Konami going to give us uh going to give us the 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 um number or is Konami just some nice guys? Looks like Konami's just some nice guys today. I see you Konami. I see you Konami. Got a third Senju by spending 1k gems. I uh, got them in the first 40 packs. Remember, this box is 200 packs, so. Oof! Soul Absorption and Ritual Beast is busted, by the way. Oh, really? Yeah, I've been getting a lot of interesting comments on my Ritual Beast video that I probably should reply to, but I just wanted to save myself the trouble. Because a lot there's a good amount of people that didn't realize that when it came to my Ritual Beast deck video, that th that was like the first ever time I played Ritual Beast. So I was doing a lot of like Oonga Boonga plays, or I've been having a lot of Oonga Boonga like uh, choices in the deck because I'm just unfamiliar with Ritual Beast and it's just a new deck to me. So I know uh, there's a like not a large minority, but there's still like a decent amount of people to a noticeable point that were uh, really like somewhat either irritated. Or, not irritated, I don't think that would be the correct word, but like, you know, there's a lot of people that were like criticizing, there you go, there's a lot of people criticizing uh, how I was playing Ritual Beast, but appreciate the criticism, I was like, and I probably should reply to some of it, but some of it was a little, some of the criticism was uh, put off more rude um, instead of like actual criticism, so it is what it is. Get your second and third Fortune Lady calling, Dude, that's awesome, man. Dude, I low-key got to remember about Fortune Ladies, because that was a deck that, like, did not get hit at all, and low-key Fortune Ladies is pretty good. Stinky Scud. I agree, man. Once Jane and Yubel and Yubel join the gate, they'll have the same rewards as the ones they have now. That's true. Yeah, everybody will be able to farm for Yubel now. A chance uh, High Priestess of Prophecy will come for us. Sorry for bad English. It's a good card for our dealer spellbook archetype. Let me go look up that card uh, real quick for you, my guy, because I don't think I've heard of that one before. Well, no, actually, I have heard of it before, uh, but it's like it's been a while since I've seen it. Yeah, okay, yeah, you can reveal three spellbook cards in your hand, special summon this card from your hand once per turn. You can banish spellbook card from your hand or grave it to target a field to end right? Honestly, if Konami wants to make some money, if Konami wants to make some money, they should um, add High Priestess of Prophecy in a main box. I can see High Priestess of the Prophecy as like a main box card um, in the future. At the same time, though, uh, I could actually see that coming to Duel Links. It would be one of those cards that's, like, really good in Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links that I could see getting added to the game. But at the same time, I feel like that uh, the developers of Duel Links might be hesitant on adding that card because it is pretty decent. So, I don't know. I'm, like, 50-50 on that card. I, I, think, I think it'll be a decent addition to the game if they do add that card. I don't think it would break the game. And no worries about bad English, man. It's all good. The fact that you can speak two languages is better than me because I cannot speak any other language besides English, and I suck ass at English as it is, so, 
Yeah. Got a new computer yesterday. All I need to do is connect my phone, uh, do links to the computer. Yeah, man, you gotta set up your Konami account, and then if you set it up properly, you'll be able to, like, technically simultaneously play Duel Links in between your phone and PC. Any progress you make on your PC will also be the same progress on your phone and vice versa, which is really cool. What's up, uh, Jackson? Welcome to stream. How you doing? Shooting star and Nova. Ritual Beast and Yozenju are both whack, to be honest. I still gotta mess around with Yozenjus and see what they're all about. I know some uh, content creators in the community have already been making uh, some Yozenju deck lists. I've seen Mario ZRG make one, ARG Life, Playmaker Duel Links make some videos on them. I personally haven't watched them yet, so I kinda wanna like just give the deck like a shot without like any exposure, but if I'm like stumped, then I'll probably just look up their deck list and see what I can do. Still a video I need to work on, that is for sure. What Excel Sacred Monster do you think we'll get first? Honestly, the best one would probably be like one of the uh, Shooting Star, like one of the Stardust Excel Synchro Monsters. It's a bit, nah, it's not even high potential in meta players. I feel like Ritual Beast is kind of like a rogue deck. So I think I can, I think it can work, but like some other decks would probably be better options. Got a new Chromebook, so make another account and starting with three UR Dreams and 3,500 gems. That's cool. I didn't know Chromebooks, wait, so Chromebooks are able to install Duel Links, because I know, like, so the only experience I've had with Chromebooks is the ones from, like, my school or whatever, but still, Chrome has, like, their own Chrome OS. I don't, is Steam, can you, like, download and, like, launch Steam through Chrome OS? What if you play on your phone and at the same time? Oh, if you play on your phone and PC at the same time, it'll, so like for example, you're playing on your phone and then you load up Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links on your PC, it'll kick you out of your phone and then load up your progress on, onto the PC. I need to continue my observation, so I'll be here for five minutes. Okay then, bud. What's up, Joey? Thanks for becoming a YouTube member a while ago, homie. Actually, yeah, shout out to, and also that reminds me, shout out to Tazzy Boy for becoming a YouTube member for two months in a row. Appreciate it, man. Chromebooks are Android, too. Okay. And that makes more sense now. Virtual Beasts look fun, but honestly, the new spellbook freaking turns take an eternity. Oof! Get out of here, Scud Gang. Scud Gang is icky, icky. I'm just leveling up Scud to level uh, 29 so I get easy gems. But no Scud gang for me. I am not a fan of Scud whatsoever. I'm just here to get these easy gems and dip. Gonna get Steam, but not through normal methods. It's a bit long-winded. Yeah, I'd, I'd assume so. And it might, and at that point, it might like get like somewhat unworth it. Now Chromebooks are interesting. I think they're pretty good for just being how like cheap, how cheap they are. It's really nice. Um, and I mean, I feel like. Especially for lower end systems, Chromebook is won't make your device lag as much. Cause I, I would be curious on like how well Windows 10 would perform on a uh, Chromebook designed for Chrome OS. I don't think it would work too well, you know. Hmm. Odiano Zenju burns incoming. That's not good. I mean, we're not gonna be hopping into King of Games' stream unless I need to get more uh, Ubel stuff. Then we'll hop into rank PP. But hopefully, we won't need to see that stuff. I don't even want to hear the Japan Scud voice actor. I'm good. Besides, the Japan Scud is even worse than the English Scud because of the shit that Japan Scud was trying to do in the uh, Dark Side Dimensions film, apparently. So, from what people have told me, apparently in the subbed version of the Dark Side Dimensions world, Scud was bothering Agami because uh, Scud wanted to uh, shoot some good old porn. So, that's fun. You better know that shit got censored in the dub. But yeah, Scud's, Scud's a... Ugh. I'd rather... There's still, like so many other characters that should have been added besides Scud, man. Like, the fact that Scud got into Duel Links, it blows my mind. It really does. Most of you guys know, I want Misty Treadwell to get added into Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links. So, the fact that Scud got added into Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links before Misty Treadwell got added to Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links is ridiculous. But besides that... Still, there's like so many other better characters that could have been added. Like, honestly, I felt like I think a lot of people would have been excited if Dark Side Dimensions World added a Dark Side Dimensions Duke, uh, Duke Devlin into the game. That would have been insane. Like, that would literally be insane for the game. 
Um, and I also know that I feel like uh, Dark Side Dimensions World should really try to add some of the like Dark Side Dimensions uh, characters like Joey, Taya, et cetera, et cetera. I think that would have been cool too. But uh, yeah, it's it's bad. Oh, if you want to know where you get these card sleeves, you go to the uh, shop, you go into the items, and then you go to customization, and then these sleeves will be, um, if you haven't purchased the sleeves yet, they'll be somewhere around here. So, and you can spend 75 gems to get them, so it's pretty cool. OMG, is that the Watt 007? Puppy Link! How you doing, Link? What's up, my guy? What's up, uh, Spicy Money? Welcome to stream, how you doing? Kiwi Magician Girl. That's all I needed to see. <laughs> That's all I needed to see. See, here's the thing. Yeah, the release of the Dark Side Dimensions world has been very lackluster. We only got three characters in this Dark Side Dimensions world, and they're only kept at level 30. That is really disappointing. I will say, though, I think Konami did an amazing job on the main box and the um, EX structure deck that they released alongside the Dark Side Dimensions world. The Dark Dimensions main box is probably one of the best boxes we've had in Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links in a long time. And uh, the uh, Dark Magician structure deck, while it wasn't highly competitive, it still was a really cool um, structure deck that added a lot of really cool cards like Advanced Ritual Art, uh, Magician of Chaos, so on and so forth. So... Honestly, I feel like that those kind of made up for the Dark Side Dimensions world. I'm releasing an amazing main box and an amazing uh, EX structure deck. It just the, the character selection though is extremely last luck last uh, yeah lackluster. There we go. And the fact that they're only capped at level 30 is extremely disappointing. But still, I think the Dark Dimension main box definitely makes up for it. That's for sure. I think Dark the Dark Dimension main box is probably one of my favorites in a while. So. And there's that. Anyways, I guess we will just get the rank duels out of the way. Um, let's go mi misplay with Ritual Beast. Let's go do that. Kiwi's body proportions are super off. Let me go. Let me go do some epic, epic review. Let me, let me, let me uh, see if I will agree with your opinion or not. Yeah, I guess I, I, I think, yeah, that's pretty skinny. I guess I could see that. But I don't think it's, like, overly dramatic. Eh. I, I could kind of see where you're coming from. Kiwi needs to eat a little bit more, you know what I'm saying? But she's still a snack at the end of the day. Let me check out some of the other magician girls, though, real quick. I can kind of see what you mean, but it's like... I feel like this one's kind of the same body proportions, if not worse, to be honest. That one's a little bit more natural. And if I saw a front view shot, that might be not natural. I think, honestly, Chocolate and Kiwi kind of have the same body proportions a little bit. They both have super skinny stomach. A lot of these have, like, super skinny people. But, yeah. I, I, I can see what you mean. How are you feeling about Duel Links now? Still bored about it? Um, Yes and no. I The new mini box is cool, but it's just it's nowhere close to Dark Dimensions, which does suck. Um, and I'm still kind of having the lingering effects of good old, uh, October events where I'm kind of like still kind of bored of everything. Hopefully the Unknown Duelist unlock is going to get me hyped because I think Unknown Duelist is going to be a cool character to unlock. And I still got to play test with some of the other, uh, decks in this new mini box, so it is what it is. Wait, I'm drunk. I meant chocolate. Lol. You mad lad. You mad lad. Can you even count Scud as a character? He is a character. A very disappointing character, though. I can't play, and it makes me sad. Dude, is COD cool? Um, This COD is definitely better than some of the previous ones. Honestly, though, don't feel bad about not being able to play it during its hype. I would say, like, wait till it's on a sale uh, to pick it up. Because the maps are pretty booty. I still got to get used to the maps, but the maps are pretty booty. But the gunplay is really nice. I really like the gunplay. I really like the uh, custom classes and how you can uh, do the different classes. Because I've been kind of getting tired of the pick 10 system as it is from Black Ops. So I like how you can customize your guns in the game. That's really nice. So I like the pick a class system. I like the gunplay. The guns are really good in the game. Feels really smooth. And honestly, the game types in uh, the new Modern Warfare are really good. Honestly, though, I got, it's going to take me a long time to get used to the... Uh, it's going to take me a long time to get used to the maps, though, because the maps are kind of booty. But like I said, it might be because I need to get used to them. Anyways, 
Let's just do this. Where does where does where does it get to go in? Where does where does it get to go in? Do do let's go, let's go. You skipping the mini box? Yeah, it's understandable. A lot of people are dubbing this mini box like as bad as Land of Titans, which I don't think this box is as bad as Land of Titans, but it's close. It's close. There's all the maps are going to come out that are going to be for free. Hopefully the newer maps are going to be better. But yeah, no, I, I need to get used to the maps still. The maps are pretty doo-doo, but the everything else about the game is really nice. But the thing is, is like the maps are kind of like the core part of the game. So if the maps are bad, that's like going to be a big issue. So I don't know, still got to get used to them. Kind of doo-doo. Everything else is really nice about the game. I also heard that the campaign is killer in Modern Warfare, so I'm looking forward to trying out the uh, that at some point. That's for sure. Are people spongy or do they drop fast? Time to kill is extremely fast. There, is, there has been times where there's some BS and I'm surprised I didn't kill these people But um, in the new Call of Duty. But man, dude, time to kill in that game is crazy fast, bro. Tag Force, or not Tag Force. Duel Links is better, but Tag Force is cool. But Duel Links is a better game. Duel Links is the better game. Also, uh, Dragon, thank you so much for subscribing. Snowman Eater. I finished the camp it again. It's pretty good. Hey, what's up, Horde? Welcome to the stream. How you doing? Too bad we can't target this invoked. Yeah, I don't think we can win this duel. I can. I. I don't have anything to really handle the invoked. Yeah, I can't win against this duel. So sad. Exodio Madman. Um. <laughs> what can't we special summon? Oh, cool. Oh, this counts both as a spiritual beast and tamer. That's interesting to uh, know about. Do I even want to summon some of these? Any other ones? Turn to your banish, return to the grave, and if you do, you can just card to control and then target to your and one special zone. I don't know. I don't know what to do. I don't know about the Conahawk time loop. I haven't played this deck enough to know about it. I'm not a big fan of the Bastion uh, skill win field spell because it doesn't work anymore. The card doesn't trigger when you're attacking with your Ritual Beast. Because with Ritual Beast ulti, if this card attacks, it is unaffected by other card effects till the end of the damage step. So if I try to attack into our opponent, um, it would not be able to uh, get over the monster. Now, it would still work on uh, when he's attacking into me. So in that situation, yes, it would be better, but... Um, I just don't like it personally just because of the fact that it doesn't work when I'm attacking into my opponent's monster. That's why DK Lava Golem and his Ritual Beast stack because there's no outs of that card. Yeah, I can see that. What's up, Emperor? Welcome to the stream. How you doing, my guy? Invoke Fusion is the gatekeeper of the meta right now. I'm glad I have three copies of each Invoker and Invoction. Helps me out a lot. Oh, this guy's gonna get double. Double. I have 9,000 gems, but should I save them for the next box? I'm conflicted um, AF. Um, yeah, save them for the next box. Especially if you're a Blackwing fan. I think the next box will be Blackwings. It's not confirmed, but there's been some rumors going around that the next main box will be Blackwing related. Uh, but not confirmed. But if you like Blackwings, you might want to hold off because... Blackwing Armor Master might be in the main box, but not confirmed. Thank you so much, uh, TR uh, Cookies, uh, for subscribing. Nice. 
double of these boys. Man, we gotta play the Lava Golems, chat. Double, double whammy right here. It's not one, not two. Yeah, it's a lot of these boys. <sighs> trap Tricks support? I'm whatever about Trap Tricks. As long as that deck won't become annoying, I'm, I'm, I'm okay. Caught the Drain Current, that's not too good. And then you're gonna play your Invoke, and we're gonna lose this turn, so you got two of them. Well, it's talking like a whale now. Whale time! I'll find on gems again tomorrow. I can use a thousand gems to get an Eliester. Heck yeah, man. Best of luck. I'm playing a BF2 uh, as a cloned commando right now until my new game uh, gets downloaded. Two minutes left. What new game did you get, Horde? I don't know if I said what's up to you, but what's up, Emperor? How are you doing? That's the point of the deck, though. Annoying decks are annoying, so I don't like them. That's why I probably would not like Trap Tricks to get support. Look at all that back row. Interesting. Bum, ba -da bum, la, la da 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 do. Liberty at last. Yo, we're about to just have a stall dual chat. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Buy something. Buy something. Why would I buy something? Are you telling me to buy packs or uh, something along those lines? Anyways, Austin, thank you so much for the $10. I appreciate it. See, the thing is, is that I would rather save that $10 because I don't think I can think of anything to buy right now. Are you specifying that I should get some packs right now or something like that? Um, Let's see. Honestly, yeah, because you flip some in that boy, and then you add the invoke thing. I don't want him to search for crap, so I'll just do that. No cards for you. Dude, this game is doo doo. This game is doo doo. Hey, what? I just joined, but how you doing? I'm doing okay. Uh, today was a pretty chill day because my Saturday consisted of sleeping. It consisted of sleeping. It consisted of um, what else? Yeah, I don't know. We chilling. It was just sleeping, hanging out with the family. That's about it. Anyways, I don't know. I don't want him to equip a wonder one again, so I'm just gonna flip it down. How do you get four thousand assessment points in one dual play farm deck, my guy? Go look up a uh, farm deck on YouTube and then go from there. If you had someone look for your phone for 10 minutes, would it be a stressful time or would you not care? Uh, it depends on where they look. Because honestly, there's not that much bad things on my phone. But at the same time, I bet my dumbass has downloaded some sort of porn from the past like few months without me remembering about it. So It just depends on where they look. Just trolling Neil's player with my NPC deck. Nice, my guy. New Demachi game came out for my country. Is it worth the download? I want to know. I haven't played Demachi before. I wish I could sleep too. I am VV. Hey, dude. Okay, chat. Here's the thing. The entire Monday through Friday, the entire Monday through Friday, I only got like four hours of sleep per day, okay? So, I deserve the rest because literally the entirety of Monday through Friday, I only got like three to four hours of sleep. I needed that sleeping in, man. I got a day off from work. I'm going to sleep in, chat, okay? So, I enjoyed myself for that. You guys just got to wait your turn, bro. You just got to wait your turn. Um, I just realized I forgot what's the invoke defense too much. <laughs> Anyways, we got Winda, spiritual beast tamer Winda. Oh shit, we can actually go for this right now. That's a pog. 
So I look through my phone, I'd be sweating bullets. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Start getting this going. Excuses what? Nah, there's no excuses. Uh, yeah, let's get rid of one of these dolphins. Actually, I'm gonna get rid of this guy because I might want to have him later. I'll get rid of you because I can't even target most of the time. Where do you get no rest, mate? Well, so the entirety of Monday through Friday, my work scheduled me to get to work by 6 a.m. So I would have to get to work at 6 a.m. every day. And. Um, when I get home, sometimes I would take a nap. Sometimes when I get home, I would take a nap, but then there's other times where I'm just way too damn busy and I just can't take a nap. So, I do that. Um, actually, I'll finish what I'm talking about afterwards. Yo, is it drowning? Let's go. Oh, oh, snap. Oh, snap. Oh, snap. Oh, snap. But yeah, my work had me scheduled the entirety of Monday through Friday from uh, 6 a.m. And let me tell you what. It is hard to schedule things with the, um, or my schedule doesn't mix as well with my family schedule. Because every time, see, the, the thing I would prefer, and it would have been nice if, like, I got home and I was able to just sleep for a long time. But by then, by then when I got out of work in the afternoon, my parents would eventually wake me up for just something. So, kind of sucked, man. Kind of sucks. Mom has to get to work at 6 a.m. Dude, getting up at 6 a.m. sucks. Other than that, it's nice to get off of work in the afternoon. That's pretty nice, but so waking up at 6 a.m. sucks. I hate it. And then, yeah, on top of that, the reason why I couldn't get that much sleep this week is because I had to make some Duel Links content, because Duel Links always releases their new stuff at, like, nighttime for me. Yo, double the invoke. You about the joke? Don't know when to go, but I'm back on the limbo. Contact out. Yeah, so we'll contact out. Um, boop and a boop. Um, yeah, it's not good, and that doesn't matter, so I get destroyed. SSA invoked, ooh, SSA invoked, can't get it, yeah, I don't think I could deal with that, because this deck doesn't have any back row removal. Um, so I'll just keep wind on defense position, I guess, because I can't really do much else. That would be the Dark Dimension box with Mahad. Poppy Mahad. See, I want to get this one out. Oh, actually, I think I should. Yeah. We out here stalling. We out here stalling, chat. I'm just, hey, if this guy wants to waste time, I'll, I'll waste time too, my guy. Hell yeah. Yeet. Because I don't got any back room removal, bro. And unless I want to, and I can't double up with uh, concentrate current with Ulti, so you know what, chat, or we'll we'll be we'll be vibing. We're we're just gonna be vibing for the rest of the duel, bro. Not compare anything, but imagine your bus being an hour and a half long ride and having to wake up at 5 a.m. every morning. Well, I have been having to wake up at 5 a.m. every morning, so that's fun. 
Um, vibing. So I am curious. You can banish one as sort of damage stuff. Oh, well, let's do this then. Let's do this. Ooh, snap. Oh, snap. Oh, snap. Oh, snap. Replay cap and continue to attack. I don't think I will. Don't worry, bud. Activate all of your invoke stuff. Do it, 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 do it. The only thing I want from the new box is Turbo Warrior from Anime Deck. Dude, I forgot about Turbo Warrior. I should honestly make a video for Turbo Warrior, dude. Who is he? Gotta return. Gotta return the dolphin. Yes, you are. And I don't got to banish a ritual boys, so. Oh no. Divine Wrath. Remember the old days of Duel Links? Makeup thing was my personal favorite at the time. I remember the old Duel Links days. I honestly really should have tried hard to get King Gains way back in the day, but I wasn't a whale, so I barely had any cards. Aliaster the Invoker. Turbo Warrior? You don't know who Turbo Warrior is? He's a Chad. He was one of Yusei's, uh, like, monsters that he summoned in the anime. He only summoned it early on in the anime, though, but it was pretty cool. Okay, so we got three duels done. Let's go uh, get our last of the Ubel things, and then I'm gonna have to look up a. Oh wait, no, I think I already have a farm deck for Ubel. Never mind. Let's do some Resident Sleeper uh, Ubel farm. Some good old raw ladybug. So let's do that. And I think I'm still trying to get Master Destiny, so let's use Satorius. The Spiritual Beast Contact Fusion looks cool AF. Yeah, yeah, dude, they're really cool. I think I just need to adjust my deck a little bit, though. Maybe I do got to tech in the Stinky Lava Golem, because if we had Stinky Lava Golem, we wouldn't have to worry about those Invoked Boys. It's only been two, three years. Well, if you really think about it, the entirety of Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links has been two to three years, and so due to that, I would still count the old days as Duel Links two to three years. And I know the older you get, the faster time goes because of the fact that you've experienced so many of those years. So you can think back to three years ago as nothing when you've been around for so long. But at the same time, two to three years is a really long time. So it the old days for Duel Links, especially if you talk about literally the entirety of Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links' history. So, yeah. Uh, do you have a U-Bell farm deck without Secret Pass? Heck no. Dude, getting Secret Pass is not that hard, man. Yeah, actually, dude, this is the time to get Secret Pass at Treasure, bro. Hold up. Because Secret Pass Treasure is, like, literally in the first box. And all the packs are 50% off. My guy. It is time to get you your Secret Pass at Treasure, bro. Yeah. My guy. 25 gems. You got this, my guy. You literally need one single copy of Secret Pass at Treasures. It's a normal card. You got this. I believe in you. Secret Pass of Treasures is a staple in farm decks, my dude. Um, so we're gonna drop that. And let's just add another draw card. Actually. Shard of Greed. Greedix. I'm 19, it felt like uh, 2016 felt like it was last year. Remember uh, 1700 attack was a UR? Hell yeah, dude. Speaking of which. Chat, I think it's time. I got I got so many of these useless UR dream tickets, bro. How many do I got? I got one. I got two. I thought I had three of them. Unless one of mine expired without me knowing. Or I spent it. No, oh, I do got three. Yeah, I got one. I got two. I got three. So I think it's time, chat. I think it's time to get the most broken UR in Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links' history. It's time. It's time. Do 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 do. 
It's time to click that confirm button, chat. Time to do it. Axe Raider. Gotta get three copies of your boy! They could pass my bay back in the day. Same in the shame they banned some of the cards. Yeah, there's some degenerate decks that I needed to ban, so. You should stay away from me. It's hard to explain, but I'm kind of dangerous. Um, so I think this is the second one, right? Remember when furries were the meta? If you're talking about for hires, yeah. For hires are a pretty cool deck. Little D, you are time. Dude, nice job, Callum. Buster Blade Fusion. He'll thank me later. I don't think I have all the cards for Buster Blade. Why Axe Raider? Dude, I honestly need, need to make a video on why Axe Raider is a UR card, because some of you guys clearly did not, or some of you guys are just clearly not around since the beginning of Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links. So, the reason why there's the uh, Axe Raider meme and the reason why Axe Raider is a UR card is because of the fact that uh, is because of the fact that the ultimate fusion or no the ultimate rising main box was the first ever main box in Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links and at the time Duel Links was more marketed as like a nostalgic trip for uh, the Yu-Gi-Oh! Um, or for, for the Yu-Gi-Oh! game so it was like more like a nostalgic trip game that uh, the advertising spiel was to get people that watched the anime way back as a kid to go into the Yu-Gi-Oh! or to get the Yu-Gi-Oh! game uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links off the app store. Um, so the meta back then was very, very simple. It was literally just summon your four star beat stick, um, summon your fish deck or summon your dinosaur deck and just go from there. And then the occasional um, like anime style Dark Magician or Blue Eyes deck uh, appeared in the ladder. Anyways, Axe Raider um, at the time was the only 1700 attack monster with no drawbacks when you summon into it. If there was any other monsters that had 1700 attack or higher, that was a four star monster. There was a huge drawback into playing that card, which would not make it worth it. So just at the time, Axe Raider was just a really solid UR card because it was the only 1700 attacking monster with no dra drawback whatsoever. So it was a pretty cool right there. Did you bell Jay and the Lord? Heck yeah, bro. Yeah, that's how else you're gonna get it with the ladies, bro. You gotta be an edgy, edgy protagonist, and then all the girls like Alexis will like you. I'm just saying, chats, it, it works. No suspicion on slot. Balak said 1700 and it was a drop reward. Good for him. Mm. Uh, we'll return you. Uh, oh, which one are you talking about? How much attack does the card have? Odell. Dude, honestly, I think Konami should make all the old boxes, 25 gems each for each pack. That'd be sick, because there's a lot of times where the old boxes are not really, like, good to go into anymore. So it feels like it's pretty useless that there are still so many gems. <laughs> you bell so, Jane, you bell so edgy, I cut my eye looking at him. Okay, then. It's pretty extreme. Can't wait for me to get some of the cards I want. Oh yeah, I already read that. Uh, UGTS, did you hear about Little Kribo? Oh no, I know who Little Kribo is. I don't watch Little Kribo's content all the time, but there's a couple times where I was like, yeah, fucks with this. It's pretty good. I think I got a single monster has 2300 attack. Yeah, I, I, would, I just need to see the exact name of the card from start to finish so I can uh, know exactly what you're talking about. Oh, wait, are you talking about the Guy of the Fierce Knight Synchro Monster? If you're talking about the Guy of the Fierce Knight one, it actually has 2600 attack. Is 
It's 2600, yeah. Now I know what you're talking about. Um, there's one of that cards in SR, so it's just, um, well, actually, it's still one of the only six star, uh, 2600 attacking monsters, uh, that's a synchro monster, so, it's a six star synchro monster that has 2600 attack, and I believe it's the only one that has 2600 attack, I'll have to double check that, but that's probably why it's labeled as an SR. It also was one of the first synchro monsters to get added into Yu-Gi-Oh! Dueling, so there's that too. Yo! Ultimate Contact Fusion! Elemental Hero, Divine News! <laughs> Miracle Fusion. Yo, double the Divine Neos. Jaden is not playing around, chat. He is not playing around, my dudes. Yeah, we'll set down you and pass. Yo, relax, Jaden. Relax. So I don't think we'll get the full like 8k score, but we'll get close. Gold news is dope. Dude, Divine Neos is swole, bro. He is... he is a force to reckon with. Is Divine Neos good? What does he do? Uh, Divine Neos is just an anime card. It's... he's not really that good. He needs to be fusion summoned by any five Neos, Neospatian, Neospatian monsters, or hero monsters, including one of each. Uh, you can banish a Neos, Neospatian, Neospatian monster, or hero monster from a graveyard. This card gets five more attacks to the end phase, and also gains the banished monsters effects. So, it's okay. But it's not great. He's just an anime card. Ah. Elemento yo. Man, I really need the Archfiend card. I don't I haven't I don't think I pulled a single copy of the Archfiend card yet. Come on, Jaden, why you stinky head? Yeah, I have zero copies of it, and the event's gonna end like in two days, so. Kind of need it, bro. You just beat Jaden Ubell and Ubell level 40 using Fortune Ladies. Nice job, my guy. Did you get any good drops? Get any good pulls? This hand is interesting, to say the least. I wonder why Konami didn't have the voice line Yami Yugi summoning Gaia. I guess it was just kind of hard to get the voice actors uh, for him. Because honestly, when it comes to the uh, voice acting for the characters in the game, and I almost summoned a like golden ladybug, that's not good. Um, but it, it's just kind of hard to get all the voice actors to do voice lines, and how they actually normally do the voice lines for all these characters is that when they hire the people, hire the voice actors to do the voice acting, they usually get them to do a ton of different voice acting or for the entirety of the uh, of the recording session. There's actually a lot of times, and this happened in the past, where in the game in Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links' files, uh, you'll be hearing a bunch of voice lines for all sorts of different cards that are just not added into Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links yet, because it, it's just really difficult to get the voice actors all the time, since there's so many different voice actors, and you gotta think about it that there's all, so many different voice actors for each different language. So, it's, it's just kind of hard for them to do it all the time. Can you get Golden Lady tickets or not? No, it's from a box, sadly. Yeah, you gotta get it from a box, my guy. And yeah, Neos went wise men for beating level 10. Nice. Actually, this is a problem. No, we act I don't think we could actually win this farm. Because of Neospatian Air Hummingbird. That's not good at all. Oh, 
Oh, it's 924. Oh, is that my phone going off? Yeah, it was. Okie dokie. Jesus. I'm getting texted a lot. Yeah, I agree, Logan. That is a good spot. Um... Get rid of one of you, though. Be gone, thought. What box is going, Ladybug? In? I'll have to show you after this. Oh, man, we're actually getting kind of screwed over. I should have waited. Ah, that's not good at all. I don't think we can win this farm because of uh, Air Hummingbird. Please go for a fusion, please. No. -ho -ho. No. Oh, I'm just farming Jaden Yubel right now because he's just he's a roaming duelist. After this, I'm just gonna farm normal uh, Yubel. Yeah, thank you, thank you. It took you long enough. Now the only issue is is that outing the okay. Now the now the next issue is is getting enough life points. Ah, oh, that's not good. Not good at all. Oh, well, draining that. <laughs> After this, we're gonna farm normal Yubel. I was just farming Jade and Yubel right now because they're the roaming duelist. We need some drainings or some shit like that. La da 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 da. <laughs> oh yeah, we're done. I'm not even gonna bother. Satorius looks very anger. There we go. So we're gonna take that L right there. Dude, we're gonna take the L and get a prismatic uh, fusion archfiend watch. You only get good drops from L's. You know what? We got a Neil's Wiseman close enough. You always get good drops from L's, you know what I'm saying? Anyways, actually, let me double check though before we go gung ho. Um. Oh no, we do want to farm Jade and Yubel. Never mind. Well, yeah. If that's the case, then if you guys want to, feel free to send some deck lists of uh, Jade and Yubel. Cause I I forgot that normal Yubel doesn't have um Archfiend's manif manifestation. There we go. So I guess yeah. Feel free to send me some farm decks for uh, Jade and Yubel. But what I'm gonna do first, actually, is I completely forgot. Um, uh, I need to go put my or I need to help my siblings go to sleep. I need to help them get ready for bed and everything like that. So let me go get some music for you guys. And let me go get you guys some music. And then I'll be paused from the stream for about like 10 minutes, hopefully. So sorry about that. Uh, I'll be back in like 10 minutes, though. So if you want to dip from the stream and come back in 10 minutes, feel free to do that. But let me go get you guys some music uh, real quick. I want to do this mix, but I feel like some copyrighted music will play afterwards. Yeah, YouTube is going to cuck me, so... Let's go find something else. Uh, golden Ladybug. Golden Ladybug is from Primal Burst. Um, I th is this uh? Let's do this Glitch X City. I don't know if I want to do this Lo-Fi though. Let's just start from yeah. This one's pretty hype. Yeah, we'll do that one. Okay. So, I'm going to switch my thing to... Hold up. We got to get the... Yeah, well, let's get that. We're going to be taking a break. Oh, you know what, chat? We're just going to do this. Um, Transform. Oh, not fit the screen. We need to stretch the screen. There we go. We got Thick Misty on the screen. I'm going to go play you guys some music. I'll be back as soon as I can. Uh, and also, if anybody comes to the stream and is wondering why I'm gone, be sure to go tell the person on the stream that just joined the YouTube chat and tell them that uh, Wattable 7 will be back in 5 to 10 minutes. So, I'll be back in 5 to 10 minutes, guys. Enjoy the music. Uh, I'll be back soon, gamers. Enjoy Thick Misty and the music.
I leave for like three minutes and I lose 50 viewers. Welcome to YouTube streaming. So the reason why I got back up is because the stream was dying, but I think I fixed it by stopping the YouTube, stopping the YouTube music from playing. That is obnoxious though, man. That is obnoxious to deal with the uh, lag and whatnot with my streams, but I think the reason why is because every time I try to, so I think the reason why my streams have been lagging as of late is because my internet connection is just not having a stable connection from the router to my PC. And the stream will be fine when we're doing this type of stuff, but whenever I'm like playing any like music um, from, you know, YouTube or whatnot, I think that's why it started to lag. Cause once, uh, cause I saw that the stream like died real quick. And then once I closed out of the tab playing the music, once I closed out of that, it started working again. Man, that's annoying though, dude. I hate having so many of these internet issues, but I think the reason why is because I just had too many things open on my computer that soaks up the internet, and then the stable internet connection doesn't work too well for the stream since I stream at a pretty high quality as it is. Because I don't know if you guys have noticed, but these streams have been pretty high quality as of late. But I probably need to like tone down my settings a little bit to compensate for, for it, which is a big sad. But I think I might have to, I think I need to go into my settings and change the recording quality and the uh, streaming quality to compensate for some of this lag that we've been having as of late. I think that's what I probably need to do because I've been having my stream settings and my recording settings the exact same as of late. And I think I need to like actually go in my settings and fix that. So that's fun. That's fun right there. But now we're back to being stable. Now we're back to being stable. Anyways, so I thought I was gonna be gone for like five to 10 minutes when it came to, um, I thought I was gonna be gone for five to 10 minutes, but um, shout out to my two younger siblings being responsible for like the first time in their life. I'm just kidding, but there's a lot of times where they like don't listen and whatnot. But uh, my younger brother actually got um, himself and our baby brother uh, to both go to bed. So shout out to my younger brother for being responsible for once. I would love if he can keep that up, but we'll see because sometimes he just straight up doesn't. So uh, there's that right there. Welcome back, everybody, uh, to the stream and um, everything like that. We got the du -du 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 dual links right here back in action. And I and it sucks that I'm, I was only gone for like three minutes and then we lost like 50 viewers. So hate to see it, but welcome to YouTube streaming. Anyways, let me go on Discord. I'm just gonna go on my phone. And um, I'm gonna go on my phone real quick. And I'll go check out that farm deck you posted RDX, which I appreciate. Let me go see if I can build it in the first place. So is Montaz dragging the waves? Cause I saw um my boy, his RDX posted a Yubel one, and then also my boy in general, King Thanos, also posted one in general. So it looks like is Yubel the wave chat? Allow me to share my pain with you. 
Siblings knew you had a stream play slept. Yes, I agree. Even though I didn't tell him I was streaming. Um, also, if you're wondering what sandwich I made, I just made a sandwich. Um, sadly, my parents bought wheat bread instead of the good bread. But the wheat bread's whatever. I can I can live with it. I can deal with the wheat bread instead of the good old Texas bread. Um, but then I have this, and then I have it with uh, just like chicken meat, sliced chicken meat, and then uh, cheese, and then barbecue sauce. Super simple sandwich, but it's super good, nonetheless. Yo, I appreciate it, guys. Thank you so much for posting some farm decks. Do I only have two of this still? I do only have two of that still. Even though I really shouldn't, I really want to get a Code Red Mountain Dew right now and drink that. Uh, see, as of late, I've been drinking a stupid amount of soda, even though, like, it's because, like, sometimes I'll, like, go off, I'll go through the day with, like, only drinking, like, one, uh, like, bottle, like, a day, which is not the best, but it's definitely not horrible. But as of late, I've been really wanting soda. Yeah, I noticed your thing, too, Eddie. Thank you so much. Dude, it is an ASMR stream. Oh. Yeah, I was thinking the same thing, ACL. Also, thank you for uh, sticking around for the stream for a long time, ACL, uh, considering your primary language is not English. Appreciate it, man. A simple sandwich, but quite unbreakable. Big agree. Okay, so let me go uh, net deck real quick. So this one is Methus. Oh, okay. So the one that uh, my boy Thanos in general chat posted had Fire King Island. I just want to use his Methus, though. I guess I'll try this one out first, and if I don't like the flow of it, then I'll try, uh... Then I'll try the other one. Uh... Okay. What the fuck are these cards, though? I don't recognize those spell and trap. Actually, since I only have two of this Ultimate Nightmare, I'm going to rock three sand again. And I misspelled Methus. Let's type in Cerulean and then go to related cards and then go from there. Oh, by the way, um, I actually bought some. Uh, I bought three copies of Cerulean Phoenix from TCG Player. So sellout time. I'm going to click that uh, TCG player button. If you guys want to buy any uh, real-life Yu-Gi-Oh! Or just buy any Yu-Gi-Oh! cards and have them in real life compared to digitally, you can go click on that link right there. bring you to the TCG uh, search bar for Yu-Gi-Oh! And if you do purchase stuff uh, through that link, I'll get a little bit of compensation for it because I'm partnered with a TCG player. and More like affiliate. I'm affiliated with a TCG player, which is pretty cool. Um, but also keep in mind too, when it comes to purchasing through that link, stay on that tab. If you move to a different tab while you're doing your purchase stuff, I won't get the compensation for it. But if you do stick in that same tab, I'll be good to go. Oh crap. There's also Montage Dragon. Hmm. Oh, cause you're only rocking one U Bell. That makes more sense. Mm. And then I gotta go find out what the hell these last couple cards are. And I don't know. We'll see. Okay. Yo, RDX. What are the names of the uh, spell cards in your deck? Because I do not recognize. Like a card trader, dude. Don't think it's that. Yeah, no, it's not. Oh, there he is. Exile the Wicked. Oh, okay. And then... Now we need to find the normal boy. 
Is that a six Sam card? Looks like a six Sam card. What is the normal card called? La da da, la da da, la da 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 da. La da da, la da da, da 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 da. Chin spy and wicked. There we go. Okay. Cool. Can I make a can I make a good fortune waifu deck without wind fortune lady? It's fine here. English problem is right. Ah, I see. Uh, when it comes to making a good uh, fortune waifu deck, honestly, you really need wind fortune lady. Like, yes, you could live without wind fortune lady, but wind fortune lady just makes it so much easier to go into the combos. Okay, we'll see how this goes. RDX. We're going to name this RDX. And then Misty Lola Best Wife. I'm best. Misty Lola Best. So credit and then Misty Lola Best. There you go. Good name, good name. Let's go get clapped. Let's go get clapped. Clip in the chat. What do I want to auto duel with real quick though? Cyrus? No, not Cyrus. And trust your destiny to my cards. No, thank you. No one's more dino than me. No one more dino than me. Oh, did I forget to put Montage Dragon? My bad. Hello? Felt like I was forgetting something. Felt like I was forgetting something. Thanks, chat. Uh, Montage Dragon. There you go. Um, Actually, we'll get rid of... Um, there you go. Let it go. Yeah, I need a character to auto duel real quick. Hey, how about you, Max Jesse? Fuck it. Well, even though I want to go for gems, we'll just level up Jesse. I think I summoned two Fortune Ladies in one turn. Nice. I use Silent Fortune. Uh, with Silent Wifey Fortune Ladies works well. My extra deck is crazy good. That's awesome, Callum. A cold glass of milk is the best thing ever. I hate drinking milk when it's like if I only have like milk. But when I eat a meal and finish a meal and then drink a cold glass of milk, hell yeah, bro. That shit is fantastic, bro. Like honestly, actually what I normally do is that whenever I do make a sandwich, I go and get a I go and get uh, I have a glass of milk and just didn't do it this time, but I was debating it. Ah, so close. What's up, Thomas? Would Sand Gam work in Fortune Ladies? Probably not well. I will always disapprove of, even if it's for farming. Even if it's for farming, my guy. Wow! Do we been streaming for an hour already? That's crazy.
La da da, la da da da. Dark Valk. What's up, unknown? How you doing, my guy? Personally, for me, I'm doing okay. Hot huh, brownies with milk? That does sound good. I'm not a big fan of chocolate stuff, but yeah, after eating a hot brownie, which will be like okay for me, but then finishing up, finishing it off with milk, yes, that's actually pretty good. Okay. Already five mil points, no URS are dropped, dude. That sucks, man. How many gems did you make no far? Probably none, to be honest. We've been very yeah, this gem stream has not been going well if I think about it. Omegle. You know what? We probably got a few from the uh, event though. See that's why I titled it Gem Farm Stream, because I felt like Gem Farm Stream is more appealing than farming Ye Bell, to be honest. But, yeah, we're, we're just trying to get the gems from the event, and that's about it, you know what I'm saying? Yo, Henry, thank you so much for subscribing, I appreciate it, man. Other than that, yeah, progress for gems has not, not been so well. Not at all. But, hey, we we made, we made started off the stream with about 6.62 six, gems. Now we at 6.98, so I, pff, I, think, I think we're balling, boys. Having milk with ice cream is a way of double the milk will make a little... Dude, I honestly agree with that. Yeah, my favorite uh, ice cream. No, my there's two different ice creams. I was thinking of. So my actual favorite ice cream is bubblegum ice cream with actual bubblegum pieces in it. That shit's top tier. But that's not. Con I can't. Usually, if I want to get bubblegum ice cream, it has to be like an ice cream place. And even then, most ice cream places don't have bubblegum ice cream with bubblegum in it. So that's an oof right there. But when you find the right place, hell yeah, bubblegum ice cream, bubblegum in it, or bubblegum pieces in it is fucking top tier. Other than that, though, when it comes to like eating ice cream, especially with milk, um, my favorite ice cream is this stuff called like Moose Tracks, and I don't think Moose Tracks is that common in else other places in the world, or it's called different names depending on where you live. But the essential piece about Moose Tracks is that it's vanilla ice cream, and then it has Reese's Pieces in it, it has mints in it, and then it has like these like uh, I don't know what the chocolate is called, but it has like some like these like chocolate pieces within the vanilla. It's kind of like thrown in there in the batch. That's pretty good. That's pretty good right there. So it's like a mix mash of like, so it's primarily vanilla with a mix mash of like other like chocolate stuff in it, which is top tier, especially with some milk. Have you uh, read the upcoming updates for November? Yes, I have, Leo the Wolf. In fact, I made an entire video on my YouTube channel uh, reacting to the entirety of all the good old uh, new events or new updates for November. So, if you haven't checked out the video already, I definitely recommend it, because that was me reacting to all the fun events. Hmm. Boy, Moose Tracks is my jam. Dude, Moose Tracks is pretty good. I know they have chocolate Moose Tracks, but I don't fuck with chocolate Moose Tracks, but Vanilla Moose Tracks? Hell yeah, dude. Vanilla Moose Tracks are pretty good. Bro, none of the ice cream place around me have anything of that F. Dude, it's been a long time since I've had uh, bubblegum ice cream with bubblegum pieces in it. And the reason why I know about that type of bubblegum ice cream is because of my dad. My dad loves that type of bubblegum ice cream. And, like, that's his quest every time we go to, like, somewhere new is to see if an ice cream place has bubblegum ice cream with pieces in it. And last time I've had it, god, that was so good. But the one place that we've been going to for that bubblegum stuff has not been around. Like, it doesn't have it anymore, which makes me sad. Do you cookie dough? Vanilla with cookie dough is pretty good. So don't feel bad about that, man. And also, what I also like is, um... Oh, what was it? I also like vanilla with Oreo. Like, if, the, if you crunch up, like, an Oreo... And get like the, yeah, if you get like Oreo um, vanilla ice cream with Oreo pieces on it, that's pretty good. I'm not a big fan of straight up Oreo ice cream. I'm not a big fan of that. But if you get like vanilla ice cream and then get a bunch of, um, just a bunch of Oreo cookies and crunch them up, that's pretty good too. Because you get like the chocolate flakes from the Oreos. And then if you ever get a piece with uh, the frosting of the Oreo and the vanilla ice cream together, that shit's really good.
I need a Dream SR for the Carly event. The one makes me sad. Oof! Yeah. Um, I mean, we might be due for another Carly event in December because this month of October, we got a redo of the Kalan event. So I think in December, I think in December we'll get a Carly event again. So it's going to be a while, man, but feel free to wait. Dude, by the time, nah, peel box for Vulcan ice cream is a bad idea, dog. That shit's going to melt by the time I get it, dude. Oh yeah, wrong deck. We don't want to use that. We want to use the bell. And I think everything's good. Mm. Well, we're doing okay. We vibing. We chilling. We're about to get like 20 prismatics from Jaden. Okay, chat? It's about to happen. Yeah, I'm doing okay. Today has been a very chill day. Not that productive, but a chill day nonetheless. There's like two videos that I want to work on right now, and I'm procrastinating them hard. I'm a bad YouTuber. There's a reason why I'm streaming right now, because it's like, I need something up for today. <laughs> and I think even if I did work on the videos, I probably still would have live streamed today, but that's besides the point. What? You don't like soup? I don't want bubblegum ice cream soup. I don't know if that's it, Chief. Oh, that's a fucking... We got a garbage hand, bro. We got doo-doo! Haha, <laughs> Jaden. You can't get over my 2,000 defense monster until you summon Neos. Okay, you bell. Where are you at, girl? Fucking hell, man. I can't get no luck. I'm out of luck. We have like... How many copies of it in our deck? We have like six copies of it. There we fucking go. It took it long enough. We have six copies of the stupid ass card and three sand gans. It took us this long to get it. Bruh. Bruh. Um... Uh, I fucked that up. Well, I'll take that L then, because I thought I was able to activate the Fenber and Methus. I'll take the L, that's fine. I'm fine with that. We're having a bad farm anyways, but I should have summoned uh, Fire King Avatar. I thought I could use the Methus effect, but you need a Methus in your hand, not your deck. My L right there in the end. My L. Love ice cream and toppings, what about you? Um, I... Not a big fan of overloading the ice cream with a stupid amount of toppings. I'm not a big fan of that, but... If it depends, if it depends on the topping, I'll enjoy it. Cause like I said earlier, vanilla with uh, like crunched up Oreo pieces is super nice. I think you bells both a he and a she. It's fucking confusing, and I wouldn't think about it too hard, man. But hentai prince, I know, I know you're probably asking that question because you're debating if you should wank it or not. There's better stuff out there, my guy. Don't worry about it. Okay, so I think we should be able to do it this time around. Disciple, pop the bell, add that. Terra and Kunit. Okay. Now we should just be vibing from here on out. Let's go see if Jaden got something up his sleeve. Let's see. What do you? What do you? What are you up to? Okay, nothing. Sweet. Um. Also, uh, spell books are still good. Um. The hits to light and dark is not that big of a deal, to be honest. So the current spellbook deck that's good right now, in my opinion, is invoked spellbooks. That's what I use to get to King of Games. And yes, the hits to light and dark definitely hurts the consistency of the deck. But at least from my experience, there was a lot of times where I rarely used Light and Dark. And only losing a thousand life points to trigger Light and Dark is not that bad, in my opinion. Also, if you are really having an issue, um, a bad time with not getting the card that you want, you could always rock Draw Sense Light, Draw Sense Water, or Draw Sense Dark um, instead of Light and Dark if you really want to, um, and see if that helps. I have zero copies of the new Archfiend card, so 
I'm gonna have to wait. I'm gonna have to wait for now. Miracle is fusion. Ah, oh, why did I do that? I thought I was able to search for it. Never mind. How do I farm gems and need them? Play the game, man. That's all I can say. Let's play the game. There's not really an efficient way to do this shit, man. I just titled the stream Farm Gems because it's a more appealing title compared to Farming You Bell, so. Yeah. Yeah. Also, thanks, RDX. I kind of already knew that reading the cards, which is a shocker so I don't read cards, but yeah, I appreciate it, man. Thank you. How do you level up Ubel fast? Dude, actually, dude, just watch my... Watch, yo, Leo. Watch my video on how to level up Jade and Ubel to level 45 fast, and you'll be good. By the way, it's a clickbait video, but it's still funny, so watch it. You already have four copies of Divine News. That's cool. Yeah, I have a few copies of the card myself. I just need a new Archfiend fusion and then I'll be good. Um. Oh gosh, why you clickbait me? I had to do it to you like that. Cuz YouTube. You know what? That's a pretty good answer. Okay, man, but Carly is more hottest than Misty. It changed my mind. Personally, for me. Um, so, besides that, I find Misty more attractive. The other reason why I consider her a better waifu than Carly is because I actually like the like personality and the character itself. Uh, when it comes to like Carly or whatever, she is pretty obnoxious. Like, she's cute at points, but I feel like after a while, it'd be very obnoxious. Second of all, Carly's in love with Jack. I don't want to bother with the king of Jack Atlas, the pog himself, the, the chat, the chat himself. So there's that. So when it comes to, like, picking a waifu um, that I would actually be able to get into a relationship with, let's be real here, uh, Carly, wants, uh, Carly wants a Jack. And, well, when it comes to Misty, at least from what I could tell, she doesn't have um, any relationship with a boyfriend or whatever. So, there's that right there. Still, I like uh, Misty more. Her blue eyes pop out more than uh, Carly's. Uh, her hair is just nice, long, and dark black, which is very nice right there. And there's just more. And then, yeah, I just like the personality of Misty a lot more than Carly. Because Carly wouldn't annoy me. Misty, though, she is, like, mommy. Big mommy. Um, okay, so we're gonna do that. And also, another thing, too, about Misty is that, dude, Misty is a model, so she got that model money, so if I did get into a relationship with Epic Misty, uh, we'd be financially secure. Okay, so we gotta either go Exile the Wicked, activate the effect, and go into the Ulti Nightmare. And then, yo, do you? Boop, boop. And a boop. Refuted, so we need a Misty Man. Wait, yo, I my English is also bad. And I think I know what word he's talking about, but I'm stupid. I need to look at the definition of that word. Uh, search. Yeah, prove to be wrong or false, disapprove. So we need a Misty Man. Um, she can't spy. And then I'll we'll give you... Here you go, Jaden. Yeah, I just like Misty a lot more. Plus, Misty is a woman. Yeah. Yeah, because uh, I've been looking into uh, getting some new Misty emotes for the stream. Because, um, like, right now, the so the emotes that we have are pretty cool, but could definitely be better. So we got this fine selection of emotes right here. Um, but I'm thinking about uh, going onto, like, Fiber or something like that and hiring somebody to make some Misty emotes. 
some like consistent like all around the board consistent misty emotes but it's like kind of difficult because like i need like a very like specific like one price to point matters like the price to like how many emotes i get matters the quality of the emotes matter and like if i like the art style or not you know what i'm saying so it's been taking me a while to like find somebody good to hire to make emotes so there's that but yeah i want to get some really cool misty emotes and we're overdue for a refresh on the emotes man and getting some like high quality misty emotes Oh, I would love that so much. I, I, t I would love getting some, like, super nice, high-quality Misty emotes, man. So, yeah. There's many Duel Links exclusive cards in November. Yeah, for sure, man. The one that I'm looking forward to the most is the new uh, Flyroid card or whatever that's called. That trap card or hand trap card seems very interesting to me. Um, I, I should probably get into discussion videos more. Because, honestly, I wouldn't mind doing a discussion video on comparing the new, like, Flyroid card compared to Spear Karibo. Because I feel like both of them have good pluses and minuses, you know what I'm saying? Well, for me, personally, Nathaniel, I like Misty more than Alexis because I'm a huge sucker for the long black hair and the light blue eyes. Alexis has neither of those. Uh, she's a blondie with kind of, like, brown eyes, which she's still attractive. Like, Alexis is still a snack and, like, the best GX waifu, hands down. But yeah, no, Misty has that long black hair and light blue eyes that pierce into your soul. I love that shit, dude. Best waifu from Varane's. Uh, when it comes to the personality of the characters, I wouldn't know, but I did like Blue Maiden's VR form. That was pretty cool. Other than that, I wouldn't know. I don't watch Varane's. I haven't watched Varane's, so I wouldn't know. The one next to you should do should be an emoji. The one next to you should be an emoji. Yeah, I considered that actually. Yeah, I, I've considered to make that one an emoji. Probably should, to be honest. Cause it's already an emoji in the Discord. I just don't know if I want it to be a YouTube member one though. But basically, cause like, here's the thing. So I have some emotes, right? So I have some epic emotes right here. So if we go to this screen right here, I was thinking of basically commissioning somebody to do like these emotes right here and like, do them all in misty emotes and make them consistent make them like a consistent art style because getting a misty like getting a misty sip misty sipping on some nice nice tea saying gg right there this would be like a good emote as like a gg emote that would be sick so every time we got a good game uh we'd put some gg emotes in the chat of misty sipping getting that easy dub good good think whenever i do some questionable shit gotta get a misty think um when it comes to this one you know when the shit hits the fan we gotta get that misty sweat uh misty love i would love because dude this emote's fucking amazing i love this emote so much so i would love to see a misty version of it and then update to this one to make it like because when i'm hiring like to hire somebody to make the emotes i want like all the emotes to have like a consistent art style so i would like to do a refresh of this one because this is like my favorite misty emote by far um so there's that right there i considered getting like hiring somebody to also like do like a you say but i think instead of doing it like an emo i should just like get somebody to um do like misty holding a card like that but like a full portrait instead of an emote so that was just like my thoughts as of late i need to get around to doing it i just having a hard time finding the person that i want to go for on fiber there's a lot of like minor like requirements that i need for it so finding the person for to do it is like an oof Sipping that blue eyes coffee, dude. It would be so good, man. Like it was like I got some fire emote ideas, bro. No, I didn't get any good Modern Warfare uh, clips yesterday on my stream, though. I did pop off a little bit, but not any good clips. Zoom in on the third pick, please. Nah, we're good. Omega lol. Oh, I was seeing elemental hero cards. Make you want to create my own elemental hero cards? Heck yeah, man. Elemental heroes are really cool. I'd say go for it. I think we have another one on the deck. Yeah, we do. We did the Crimson Box and got three R's today. Dark Panel as well. Hell yeah, man. That's nice. Congratulations. What day do you think the Unknown Duels will be unlocking? I'm hoping right away when the event starts. But knowing Konami, they'll probably wait a couple days during the event to make her unlockable, so... 
We will see. <laughs> What's your opinion on Mass Heroes, Ethan? Cool deck. Used to have been very meta relevant, but not anymore. But still a cool deck nonetheless. I should probably make another video on Mass Heroes, to be honest. Yeah, I guess once they come off the ban list officially, probably should make a video on them. Hello, Sam. How you doing, my guy? Now, I'll invest further into the Buster Blade stuff. Mm -hmm. Should release Stratos as a one of and Jane Yubel missed opportunity IMO. I am interested if they would ever add Stratos into Yu Gi Oh! Duel Links. Honestly, though, they would probably shaft him and only put him as a skill. I could see them milking cubics. Like 50 50. Turbo Stoodle Stream will be hyped, dude. I am excited to make some Turbo Duel content. I should honestly start brainstorming on some good Synchro Summon decks that would fit well for the Turbo Duel event, you know what I'm saying? But I haven't gone to the lab for that yet, and I know that when the Turbo Duel event comes out, I will not be ready for it. But I'm looking forward to it. Honestly, though, let's be real here. The Turbo Duel event is probably just going to be a just mess of just people using normal meta decks, but then taking advantage of the Turbo Duel shenanigans. Yeah, I've been having an alright day. It's been super chill. After, because like, the entirety of Monday through Friday, I've been having to wake up at like 5am for work. So the fact that I had a day off today and I was able to sleep in was fucking nice. Like, that felt good. So I, I got like a good like 12, like 11 hours of rest. Yeah, I think it was 11 hours because I went to bed at like 1 and got up in the afternoon at like 12. So I got 11 hours of sleep. Man, that felt good, bro. Because there's like, when, when you like sleep in a ton of times, like all the time yeah if you like sleep in like every single day you eventually start getting exhausted from it when you sleep in after being so dang tired for a while man that feels good so that was nice turbo warrior for turbo duels i gotta remember that that'd be a good title sarah made it sir avatar he was grand mole for the neos fusions i doubt they would do that gotta go to sleep nice farm man and remember some magician is better than kiwi and carly is better than you know I can agree. I I I, th I kind of think yeah. I can agree with Silent Magician being better than the Kiwi Magician Girl, but uh, Misty Misty is better than uh, Carly any day of the week. Is this a dual room? No, it is not. And shout out to getting drops, but not for the card we want. And this is not a dual room. This is good farms. Besides, I can't even farm gems in dual room as it is. So it's like well, <laughs> what? Oh, I should really invest into Crystrons, or not invest, but I, I need to like look into Crystrons to see if I can play them. Because I barely have any copies of that like 5 star UR card, but I think I have 3 copies of the new SR card that I got from the recent mini box. Eh, actually I need to check actually, I don't think... We'll see, we'll see. Haha, <laughs> no. What's a good farm deck that's worth the farm Jaden? I guess this one that I'm using right now. Ah, uh, we got cooked again. <laughs> Yo, we about to get OTK'd. We about to get OTK'd. Yo, know, I'm okay getting OTK as long as I get this stupid Archery Infusion. By the way, Jaden was ruthless against poor Yubel. That was, that was like literal abuse. Yubel, I don't know why you accepting Jaden in your life. Hmm. Stall getting a buff with Kyroid. Dude, Kyroid's gonna be crazy, man. Okay, this will work. Boom. By the way, for everyone in the stream, Missy Treadwell will demolish Carly Carmine any day of the week. Yes. 
What's up, Jack? How you doing, my guy? Bum 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 bum. Bum. I heard they got uh, Atticus, uh voice in the Duel Links files. I haven't heard of that yet, but if that is the case, that's actually really cool. But I have not heard of that before. And I feel like Brad would have made a clickbait video on that already too. Kiteroid, no Inky OTK. I am sad. Meta gonna be slow as fuck. That's honestly why they're adding Kiteroids, so they can slow down this game. Because this game has been hella quick recently. And so, and I am curious if they're gonna give us three copies of Kiteroid or only one. Because I know in my upcoming updates video, I assumed that we're only gonna get one copy of a Kiteroid. Which I'm still gonna assume that's gonna be the case. But, at the same time, a couple of you guys in my Discord were talking about it. And, um, in some of the tour guide events, they sometimes do give us three copies of the event um card from the tour guide bingo mission so we'll see if we get three copies of kiteroid but honestly they might only give us one i could see one of them yo uh Sh shin sorry i mispronounced your name i think it's like pronounced something differently but nonetheless thanks so much for subscribing appreciate it man <laughs> if that's true we need our hero justin taylor yes <laughs> now I'm scared of E heroes that bad and give us air neos boom no harm. Omega lol Omega lol We'll see if that happens. Yo, what's up boy? I'm gonna stream how you doing. I think Bacon Saber's a better pick than uh Kite Ride. But definitely Kite Ride's definitely an option. Um but I think Bacon Saber would be the better choice. You think Alexa the Crest on Jaden? That is actually canon. In like definitely in season four of GX, that was canon. Like Alexis legit had a crush on Jaden and she just didn't know how to portray her feelings to Jaden. But that's like an actual thing that happened in the show. Yeah, I'm surprised Kyroid is in the UR also. But yeah, no, Kyroid is, like, gonna slow the game down like crazy. We about to go into Turtle Duel Links. Dude, Alexis does. Not even a lie, bro. Not even a lie. We must be getting Kyroid with a new Obelisk that no one asked for. I don't know about that one. Ah, fuck. Well, that's a GG right there. Actually, you know what? We'll save it. Yeah, we, we gotta do this. <laughs> Oopsies. What characters do you think we'll get early 2020? I don't know, man. Um, I guess Agami. I could see getting Agami in Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links in 2020. Or Yu-Gi Moto and DSOD World. I can see either one of those in 2020. Other than that, I don't really know, man. La da 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 Yeah, if I think about it, I think Yuma is the only, like, Yu-Gi-Oh! protagonist that got the girl. Like, where Yuma and then, what was her name again? Tori? Tori Meadows or some shit like that? Yeah, they, were, they, they both were like, hell yeah, let's do it. Let's get into epic gamer relationship. It's a blast, welcome to stream, how you doing? Yo, Jaden going OTK. Dude, I would love a Bonds Beyond Time event. That would literally make me so happy. I would actually be extremely happy if they did that. Oh, we missed the timing. 
Oh, because he drew a card with Nova Master. I see. I think that's why. Yeah, because he drew a card with Nova Master. So if he didn't kill us with Nova Master, I think we would have been able to be fine on the farm. Shoutouts to getting cucked back to back. Drink coffee in the morning, it's good for you. I'm not a fan of coffee. You go drink that uh, Blue Eyes White Dragon coffee, Jack Atlas, but for me, I'm not good. I would not like strings in Duel Links. I'd rather not, but Duke Devlin in Duel Links would be sick. Top characters I would probably want in Duel Links would probably be like Misty. Misty Treadwell would be sick. Uh, what are some other characters that would be dope? That, like, still have a small chance. I, I would say Sherry. Like, Sherry in Duel Links would be sick, but she doesn't... I don't think she has any fathom of a chance to get in the game, so... Um, yeah, Misty, Duke Devlin... Are some other characters now? Because I know there's, like, some other characters I would like that are, like, pretty cool. <sighs> trying to think, man. Yeah, Paradox would be cool. I honestly just need to look at the entire cast of, like, Yu-Gi-Oh characters and then kind of go from there, you know? I think Aporia would be neat. Dude, Zexa World's coming out 2020. Dude, fuck this game. Dude, you fucking Jaden got his Nova Master back to back, bro. Fuck. Hold up. Yeah, it doesn't matter because you got the timing shit. You'll fuck off with your Nova Master, my guy. Honestly. Yeah, Sherry's Ace is in a box. That's why I don't think Sherry's gonna come out. Dude, we out here getting cucked. I'm getting fucked. I don't like this shit. I don't consent at all. Yo, is this a QR code chat? <laughs> Team Ragnarok. Axel would be pretty cool. Yeah, I could see Axel coming. Yugi's grandpa would be cool. I think he's long overdue to get added to the game. I want Unknown Duelist as an unlockable character. I would rather have Unknown Duelist than Sarah. Because, yes, I know they're the same character, but I like the design of Unknown Duelist more than Sarah. I like the whole, like, futuristic VR vibe that the character has. Yo, chat, let's watch Jaden summon Nova Master for the third fucking time. Watch this, chat. Watch this. Polymerization. Fuck this game. Actually, fuck this game, dude. Well, at least we don't fucking die right away. That's like the only- oh wait, no. I shouldn't have clicked the S. You know, fuck you, Shein Spidey Doo-Doo. Shouldn't have clicked the S, but... Fuck, man. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, we finally- yeah, let's go. Let's go. We finally ever triggered you, Bell. God damn it, man. Fuck that Nova Master, bro. Like, Nova Master, you're a cool guy. I have you in real life. You're a cool card. But fuck off, bro. Go away, poopy head. Ugh. We're trying to farm. Can we have a tour? Not today, but another day. Oh, tournament. No clue, man. I have no clue when I'll host a tournament. Because, yeah, I know a lot of you guys would like to do a tournament. I just don't know if I'm in the mood to host a tournament. Yeah, because, no, people have been asking me to do a tournament for a long-ass time. I think part of it is, like, since it's something i never done before, I'm just worried if something would go wrong. Um... And just fine, and then dedicating an entire day to host a tournament just sounds difficult for me. And I always hate, and I would, I would hate for like people to like not show up to the tournament and shit like that, you know. So, 
There's that, or like where they sign up for the tournament but then don't show up. Yo, what's up, Adam? AKA far underscore. And speaking of Adam, shout out to the homie Adam for hooking me up with a code to get uh, some free G Fuel. I had to pay for shipping, but other than that, we're gonna get some G Fuel soon. Chat, let's get a let's get a G Fuel uh, code like all these other YouTubers. Let's get it. Dude, chat, we should do a little D tournament. The ace monster has to be little D. You have to do, yeah, like little D deck only. Well, yeah, of course I ordered. Adam, I sent you the, I literally sent you the DM on it. I ordered the starter kit. I sent you the screenshot of that. My guy, check the discord DMs, you silly goose. Yeah, we should do a little D tournament and you only can rock like dinosaur fu uh dinosaur deck. Oh, G Fuel is like a it's got like an not an energy drink. Let me go fucking find the like exact one. Or whatever. Read it out loud. Da -da -da. The official energy drink of esports or whatever. But yeah, no, it's like a you basically get like a water bottle or some shit, and then it's like a flavor packet that you put into your drink, shake up the drink, mix it with the water, and then um, it like helps you out and keeps you awake for the day. But it's like an energy drink that you need to use water or whatever. It's not like a monster energy drink or Red Bull or none of that crap. Still, I never tried G Fuel before. I'm gonna try it out and see if I like it or not. So, uh, there's that right there. Yeah, code what the level seven. Nah, Adam underscore far underscore AK Adam is uh, he likes G Fuel. He buys it a lot, and I've always debated on getting G Fuel because I've heard about the G Fuel for like a long time now. Um, but we're gonna we're gonna give it a shot. Yo, what's up, my guy? Welcome to the stream. How you doing? Introducing the Misty flavor. Use code WAT to get 25% off. Thanks, G Fuel, for sponsoring. Yes. Like a powering protein shake. Something like that, I would assume. They just have a bunch of like different flavors or whatnot. But no, they've been they're they're a pretty reputable brand. Um but they, like G Fuel's been around for a long time, and it's actually crazy to think about it, but they got to the point where they're sponsored people like PewDiePie, KSI. I think Roman Atwood sponsored by them. Who else are some big YouTubers? There's like another one on the tip of my head. Tip of the tongue. But yeah, they're, they're, they're pretty popular. Mm -hmm. Waifu tournament, only use girl cards and characters. Yes. I still need you to try to shoot PewDiePie. Yeah, I am glad that that starter kit comes with a variety though, so I'll probably be able to find a flavor that I like. Yo, we got some good loading from Jaden Ubell. He's about to give us eight prismatic cards. Watch this chat. We got cucked. I'll take them gems though. We out here gem farming. Yeah, how far are we are in the event? Oh, we're almost to getting the Archfiend card, which is nice. Cool. You gotta wait for your phone to charge. Oof! Can we bring Synchro Dino decks? Yeah, if you want, yo, if I, if I did host a tournament, maybe like, yeah, so the monster, so the like main deck monster cards would have to be dinos, but then I would allow you guys to use anything you want in the extra deck. Uh, fuck, this is pretty bad. Neospatian Onslaught's fucking broken. Introducing the Want 7 flavor G Fuel, and for the first order, get 75% off with code Misty Waifu at the checkout. Thanks for G, G Fuel for sponsoring the stream. Almost got it perfect, but fucked it up.
when is this event finished? In like two days. I feel like Infernity's got more support, probably in the main box or something. But yeah, this event ends in like two days or something like that. Sandy for five cent, what you smoking, bro? We're just trying to get you some good deals. I want my monsters to throw my card facts of Judgment Thunder and Mystical Miss. I want to post the link, SMH, I'm not mod. Yo, what's the link? Post it in my Discord DM. I'll verify if I, I, if I should. Yeah, because my live streams have zero moderators. What a train wreck of a YouTuber I am. The only time I lost was when you used that skill and played two glow mods, kept drawing monsters when I attack and ends the battle phase. Fucking yikes, man. Dude, same here, Jack. That's why I farm skill in the game. To be honest, my best experience was just playing ranked PP or casual duels and getting lucky from there. Wait until there's a 1000 um, bonus. Like, so, you know, there's the event that sometimes happens where you get your score and then it gives you an extra 1000 score because it's the event. What people do is that they go into casual duels and play suicide decks. And what I do is that I go into casual duels, hope that I go against some of those suicide deck people that are trying to farm for skills, and then I get like 5k score in like a couple minutes and then go for, uh, and then go for, uh, what is it? Some good farms, good skills. I can mod, no mods. Oh, the reason why I don't have any moderators for um, these streams is because when I used to Twitch stream back in the day, people, like, it's still somewhat the case in my Discord, but not as much. No no, no one donated $10 tier. No, there's actually been a few people that have been a $10 tier for um, YouTube members. A few people. Actually, there's a couple people that are still doing it. I don't know if Adam is still doing it. But I know, um, I mean, I can check it right now. Hold up. Yeah, we got 126 people in here. Thank you so much for every, everybody stopping by in here. Yeah, we can go check the, uh, give, a, give an extra shout out to the $10 tier people. So if we go to this, memberships. Oh, Adam is a $10 again. Thank you, Adam. I didn't know that you became a $10 again. So yeah, Adam's a $10 YouTube member. Joey Wheeler's a $10 YouTube member. And then Mr. Caleb's a $10 YouTube member. And then my boy Galaxy was a $10 YouTube member for two months, which I strongly appreciate it. So thank you to all of you epic, epic gamers that are YouTube members and whatnot. And if you guys want to become a YouTube member and get some awesome emotes and support the stream, be sure to do that. I need to get off my ass, lazy ass though. And finally get some spicy emotes for you guys, because you guys deserve some awesome emotes. It is overdue for good emotes. And I hear it's overdue, getting merch for the channel. My boy Adam has been asking for merch ever since 2018, bro. And we're almost a 2020, man. Bruh. I had a dream that was Spider-Man. I had to steal some sort of medicine, saw my friend was Deadpool. We eated that med. Okay, then. That was like an interesting dream. Dude, I almost remembered what I dreamt today, but that went away quick, man. I forget my dreams so quickly, dude. Because when I woke up today, I was like, bro, I was definitely dreaming of something, but that's long gone. And yeah, when it comes to, like, modding and all that stuff, when I used to Twitch stream back in the day, um, moderator was more of a, just a status symbol for my moderators and stuff like that. I just moderate, just added moderator for my friends. And I... When, when it comes to, like, me as a person, I have a really hard time, like, putting full trust into somebody else when it comes to things. Or I have, like, I just kind of just want to run things myself. You know what I'm saying? I, like, want to run things myself. And that's why I don't have any moderators in this stream. Because I pretty much just moderate the chat as it is. Because he believes in free speech. Yeah. Free speech is pretty neat. Oh, shit. We got cucked. Oh, fuck. I don't... Okay. I don't know what happened, but, yeah. Divine Neos just went off. He popped off. 
But yeah, no, moderator, because here's the thing, I can moderate you guys just fine. Um, honestly, there's not really that many, like, things happening in the chat where I need to, like, ban people. And if there is anybody that's super obnoxious, I can just ban them myself, because I usually notice it as it is. Because I don't want to toot my own horn, but let's be real here. When it comes to my streams, I interact with you guys so much. There's other, um, and like, compared to, like, other streamers and whatnot, which I understand, like, why other streamers won't pay attention to their chat 100% or try to talk to everybody 100% because it is difficult to. Um, but I, I personally think that I'm a, do, I am do a really good job on reading your guys' comments and interacting with you guys. And since I'm, like, pretty active into the chat and I focus more on the chat compared to the gameplay sometimes, I can just manage it myself where I don't really need any moderators. Dude, Adam, you did a great job editing those videos. Of course, it could have been better, but you did get the content out, and that's what matters. Uh, 5D's Jack is cooler, so I'll go for that. What's up, Mark? How you doing, man? How did you get those card sleeves? Go to the shop. Go to the shop. Go to items. Go to customization, and then they'll be up here for 75 gems. Yo, can I get a key? Magician Girl instead of Dark Magician Girl, please thank you. <laughs> oh shit wait stream reconnected for anybody still in the stream since we got the uh thing to work again i'm gonna be wrapping up the stream right here it's a good time as ever since my stream was having some connection issues um and stuff like that but we're gonna be wrapping up the stream right here i wish i didn't have these connection issues though but it is what it is. So let me go get you guys some music though, and we'll get uh, we'll get uh, wrapping up the stream right here. Thank you so much for stopping by. If you haven't already, be sure to join my Discord. It is free. You guys can join if you want to talk to me. All that good stuff right there. Yeah, resurrect on the third second. Hell yeah, man. But yeah, we're gonna wrap it up. Hit the stream right here. Uh, be sure to join my Discord if you haven't already. If you want to become a YouTube member, be sure to become a YouTube member by uh, hitting that over there. There's a $2, $5, and $10 tier. Go check those out if you want to. If you guys ever want to buy some Yu-Gi-Oh cards, be sure to go check out TCG Player um, for all your stuff right there. And then last but not least, the giveaways are still going. If you didn't know already, I am giving away that gigantic Dark Magician back there. So if you guys want to enter into that giveaway, be sure to go enter into it. There's like five days left it's like four or five days left to that giveaway so if you haven't entered already be sure to go enter into that and then last but not least uh, check out the japan sweepstakes from uh konami and go check that out right there but i'm gonna wrap it up the stream right here let's go play some musica let's go play some uh musica and get going from there what is something that like is spicy but i haven't played in a while Ooh, I don't know. I don't know. It'd be spicy. Like I want to play like an anime opening, but I don't want to get copyrighted. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, let's play Mirror B. Okay. Well, thank you so much for watching. Stop by to stream. See you guys later. Ball, thank you so much for subscribing. <laughs>